Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to download and install our free header and footer template for Divi's Family Doctor Layout Pack. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. So what we need to do now is to download it. So I'm going to come over here, click here where it says get it for free today. Next, we're going to add our email address, click on download, and now we can download the files. So now the files have been downloaded onto my downloads folder, as you can see here on the bottom. So what I need to do is to go in and unzip this folder, okay, this file. So I'm going to go in here, show in Finder, and here it is, okay. So all I need to do now to unzip it is to double click, okay. And now this is the file that we need to use for our header and footer. Okay, so I'm going to drag this over to the side for a little bit so I can show you how to install it. So now I am on my website. I need to scroll all the way down here to Divi, click on Theme Builder. Next, I'm going to click here on Portability. Okay, so what we need to do is to click here where it says Import, and then you can either click here and then navigate to uh, the folder where you downloaded it, or you can just drag and drop it in there. Now, to be honest, I just prefer dragging and dropping, so here we go. So I'm just going to drag it over here like that. It's just quicker. And then I'm going to click on Import Theme Builder Templates. So now my... Uh, template is being imported. Okay, so now my header and footer has been installed. That's looking great. Now, before we can actually see the changes to this, why don't we take a quick look here at what the website looks like now before we save these changes. So at the moment, you can see here that um, we have the standard header that comes with Divi and at the bottom here, we don't really have a footer. So now if we click on save changes, if we come back to our page and refresh, notice what happens. Now we have this different header. It has a live chat here link. It also has all the links here and a number here at the top, which is handy if you want to get in touch with a doctor uh, really fast. We also have a book appointment button here as well and social media icons. And then when we scroll down here, we also have this beautiful footer, which has a lot of information. So it also has opening hours and email, phone number, and so on. Great. So what we're going to do now is, because this is a um, header and footer, it needs to look um, better on a page where you can see it in context. So why don't we go in and uh, create a page and add, and add a layout from this layout pack. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to Pages, click on Add New. We're going to call this Doctor, use Divi Builder. All right, so here we have three options. So what we're going to do is we're going to browse our pre-made layouts and uh, choose a layout uh, from our Doctor layout packs. So I'm going to search here for Doctor. And here we go. We have all these layouts for our family Doctor. So what we can do now is to pretty much choose any page from here. So let's go with this uh, landing page. I'm going to click on uh, use this layout. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, of course, you don't really have to do this, is just to uh, show you the header and footer in context so that you have all the matching colors and also the layout looks really nice with the header and footer. Okay, now we have our design and uh, we can now publish this page and uh, we can also exit the visual builder so we can see the page clearly. So here we go. So now we, you can see we have the styling here which matches with our buttons and uh, all these elements here. And when we go through this page, you can see that all these angles here and all those shapes really work well together with our header and footer. OK, now the, the next step is to show you how we can go in and customize this in case you want to change your colors, fonts, etc. OK, so what I'm going to do now is to log back into my site here on in my dashboard. And uh, what we're going to do is to come all the way down here to Divi, click on uh, Theme Builder. And this is where you need to go to make your changes. So let's start off with our header here. So I'm going to click here on this pencil icon. This is going to take us into our builder. OK, so first things first, uh, we can uh, go into our main section here at the top. So let's say you want to change your color here. You can go to the background and you can just change your color just like that. So you can see here it is um, it's a matter of selecting your color. And once you've selected your color, it just updates over here. OK, so I'm going to close out of that. Next, let's take a look here at um, our live chat. 
So here we can uh, change this text. We can also come over here to design text and uh, we can change this to any font we want. So let's say I want to use Poppins, which is my uh, favorite font. You can see here it has changed. You can also change the color of that. So that's easy to change. Okay. And if you want to increase the size, you can just do that by coming over here and you can see that the size there is increasing. Let's move on to the next part. And this is the email. So let's say you want to go in and change your email. And now over here, you can see that uh, we don't really have access to our module here. So what I normally do is to click here on these three little dots, go into my layers. And this is where I can go into my first section here, go into my row. And in my rows here, I can drill in and see uh, which item I can go in and fix. So you can see here now this one here is highlighted. So I can go in now in this gear icon and I can go in and change my phone number here change my email address as well. And uh, if I needed to, I can also change my font. So I can come over here to design text and we can change this to say Poppins, for example, and you can see it has been updated. And again, if you want to change the size, we can always go in and play around with the size here and also the color. So you can see there the color has changed. Okay, so that's how we do it. Next, let's take a look here at uh, the social media icons here. So again, I'm going to use my layers click on this gear icon and now I am in my social media follow module. So first things first, you need to make sure that you add your links. So I'm going to click on this gear icon here and show you where the link goes. So this is where you need to add your link to your social media page. Okay, so once you add that link, you can just save that, go back, do the same for Twitter and LinkedIn. And if you need to add more, you can just click here, duplicate it and then click on this gear icon, click on this drop down and then choose whichever one you want. But don't forget, you also need to go in and add your link. I'm just going to add a blank link for now. And basically, that's how you do it. Okay, once you're done with that, you can just save. Now, moving on, we also have this area here. And this is our menu. So again, you can see here, this is our menu settings. If you have a uh, menu that you've created, you can uh, specify it over here. Now, in my case, I don't have a menu, so it'll just show my default one. Next, we uh, need to uh, assign our logo. So here, I already have my logo in place. And uh, you can just delete this one and add yours. Next, let's take a look at the design. And this is where you can uh, play around with your menu text. Okay, so this is the active color. And if you want to uh, customize your menu color, you can go in there. As you can see there, I've changed this to blue and that has updated. Okay, so this is where you do it. And you can also change your font here. So let's say you want to add pop-ins, you can just do that. And uh, of course, you need to make sure that you have your sizes correct because otherwise it'll be all over the place. All right, so that's how you update that. I'm going to close out of here. Next, I'm going to take a look here at our button here. I'm going to click on this gear icon. It's going to take us into our button settings. And again, you need to make sure that you add your link in here. And in the design here is where you go in and uh, change your button colors. So let's say you don't want to use this dark gray. You can just go with, um, let's say, this blue. Actually, that looks quite nice. So you can use that. And if you want to make further adjustments, you can also do them here. This is the border radius, so you can bring it down and make it look rectangular. If you wanted to go with that design, it's all up to you. And over here on the font, you can also change the font to whatever font you want. Okay, I'm going to close out of here. And basically, that is how we update our main header area. Okay, now let me show you how to uh, make changes to the footer. So I'm going to close out of here. I'm going to discard and exit. Click on the pencil icon. And this time we are taking a look now at the footer. All right. So now we are looking at our footer. So first things first, you may want to uh, perhaps maybe change this text. So to do that, you just want to click on this gear icon. This will take you into your text module and you can change your text over here to whatever you want. But if you want to uh, delete it completely, you can just go in and uh, delete this whole row but that also takes the button with it so you just have to decide what you want to do with that now let's take a look at the button here and now this button here the changes are pretty much the same as we did on the header so you can change the text over here make sure you link it over here i'm just going to add a blank link and if you want to change the text you can just come over here go into your button settings and uh, the text can be changed here so this is where you do the size and if you want to go in and change the font itself, you can just come over here on the text font, 
change this to say poppins uh, if you want you can uh, just make it normal text so you can see now it doesn't have the all caps so it's up to you how you want to do it okay so i'm going to close out of here next over here now uh, these are all blurbs okay so you can go in and change these colors so let's start off by changing this phone number so this is where you can change the phone number and the title can be changed over here okay so that's this these first two things uh, we also have an icon here so if you want to change your icon you come over here to image and icon and this is where you'll change your icon so just in case you want to change this from phone to something else this is where you'd go in and change the icon so you can see there by just uh, changing that that has updated my icon now if you want to further customize this say perhaps you want to change the text size or color you can just click here on this pen brush tool and this will take you directly to heading four which is the uh, heading I'm going to click there on phone. You can make it all caps. You can also change this from regular to bold. So you can do quite a lot here. And if you want to change the colors of the icons themselves, you can just click over here on this uh, paintbrush tool. And here we have the icon color. So you can change it like that. And uh, we also have this option to have the circle. So you can remove it or you can add it like that. And then over here, you also have the circle color. So you can change, you know, the circle color into, you know, whatever color you want. And this is how you do it. OK, so the same applies to pretty much um, all these uh, icons. The same process here that you do on the first blurb that, blurb that I showed you is what you would do over here. Moving on, we also have this text right here. So you can go in and uh, this is just a text module. You can change this. I promise it's right here. And notice that this is heading four. And then over here we have this normal text and this is heading three. And then we have the paragraph text. So if you want to go in and customize this, what you need to do is to just click and uh, on this brush tool. And this will take you directly to where you can make those changes. And as you can see now, I can go in and make my changes. So if you want to make it slightly bigger, you can just do that over here. Okay. Next, let's take a look at this footer. So first of all, you can change the background by coming over here to the section. Click on background and you can go in and, you know, play around with your colors and change this to whatever color you want. Okay, I'm going to close out of here. We also have the social media icons. Now, the same thing that we did on the heading is what you do here on the bottom. And for our copyright, again, if you click on this gear icon, it takes you into your text settings and this is where you need to change it because this is dynamic content. So we have our copyright here. You have your company name. This is where you need to add your company. And pretty much that's it. Okay. Right. So that is how you go in and update your footer. So now let's take a look at our site. So if we come all the way down here, once we hit save, all your changes are updated across the whole website because this footer here is a global footer. The same applies with the header as well. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.